We now continue our week long series California running dry. Yesterday we took a look at the state's long history with drought. Yes, tonight we're looking at the role of the reservoirs up and down the state of California. KCRA 3 meteorologist Dirk Verdorn takes a look at the storage system in place and how it reaches you and your family. Water is important in California and our supply of this precious resource can vary greatly from year to year. So the need to manage what we get is a high priority in the Golden State. The Central Valley Project was devised in 1933 as a way to manage water and transport it from areas considered more water rich to more water scarce areas in the Central Valley by a series of canals, aqueducts and pump plants. Reservoirs play an important role in this project, feeding the canals that transport water to the far southern end of the valley. Like the Millerton Reservoir feeding the Fryant Kern Canal that brings water to Bakersfield and the surrounding areas there. Also, San Luis Reservoir, which is shared with the State Water Project, the Delta Mendota Canal, taking water from the Delta, the New Malones Reservoir, Folsom Reservoir and the Folsom Canal, the Tehama Calusa Canal, Black Butte Reservoir, Whiskey Town Reservoir, Trinity Reservoir and Shasta Lake with a capacity over four and a half million acre feet. That's the biggest reservoir in California. Now to put that into perspective, Folsom Lake has a capacity of less than one million acre feet. But both reservoirs perform the same function of providing water for recreation, power generation, wildlife habitat agriculture, as well as for residential and industrial uses. So let's take a closer look at the role of the reservoir in Northern California. During a typical year, the wet season lasts from November to April, with the bulk of the precipitation coming during the winter months. That's good because that means the Sierra Nevada mountains can stockpile the snow for later use. Before dams were built, that snow would melt in the spring, filling rivers and causing some annual flooding in low-lying areas. But California has a long dry season which can quickly dry up that water from the spring runoff. There are also those years when California receives an abundance of snow during the winter, along with heavy rain in the spring, which results in serious flooding. But again, summers are long and dry, and that heavy runoff becomes parched ground by summer's end. In 1955, the Folsom Dam was built. Now when there are years of abundant snow and rain, the runoff can be caught by the dam, filling Folsom Lake instead of the floodplain, which reduces the chance for serious flooding and stores water for use during the long, dry summer. It can also help to relieve the water needs if we have a meager wet season with little snowpack. But if we have two consecutive years with little snow, the reservoirs run low and are of little help. Unfortunately, that is where we find ourselves right now.